Off Clipper High friends. Darth Momo here. <sighs> this I literally just started tearing up. <laughs> <coughs> What's the situation, Captain? <laughs> oh my good <coughs> Oh my goodness. This was definitely worth the wait. Let's pause this, have my intro, and we'll get right into this review. Thank you guys for joining in. Um, okay, it's not stopping. Maybe this will work. Okay, got that working. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay, so starts out with the Phantom coming out of hyperspace to Mandalore. And uh, on board is Fenrau, Kanan, Jarrus, Ezra Bridger, C110P, and Sabine Red. And then they get shot down by the other Mandalorians. Uh, Fenrau hides inside, as well as Chopper, as backup plan, while uh, the Mandalorians encounter Kanan, Sabine, and Ezra. So that solves my question of what happened to Fenrau. And we meet Sabine's brother, Tristan. Thought he was D. Bradley Baker voice. He sounded kind of like D. Baker. Uh, anyway, um, takes them to the their stronghold. Uh, Sabine meets her mother, Ursa Wren. Disappointed it wasn't Ruck cast. They even have the similar helmet designs. So maybe it's like uh, that's her new name. I hope that's the case, and I hope she's revealed to be Ruck cast. Um, <laughs> <coughs> Then uh, Sabine has a talk with uh, her mother, and we found out the, the reason why Clan Wren fights the Empire is, or doesn't fight the Empire is because they have her father held. But uh, then uh, as Sabine goes to spar practice with her brother, uh, Ursa contacts Gar Saxon, and it's revealed that uh, she is giving up the Jedi and giving him the Darksaber in exchange for Sabine's freedom. But then, uh, when the man, the house friend points their guns on the Jedi, and Sabine has a realization of what they've done, she runs out from the sparring practice to save them, but that's when Gar Saxon comes in and reveals that he's come to execute them all. Tristan, who is serving Gar Saxon, was given a chance to stand with them, and he stood with his family. So there's a big firefight there, of course. Fen Rao came in and got the lightsabers back for the Jedi. Big firefight there. Uh, then Gar Saxon was about to kill Sabine's mother. Sabine got Ezra's saber and they fought. That explained that. They kept fighting. It was a nice fight. And then she wanted to get Saxon, which was pretty predictable. <laughs> and she's like, yield. And he's like, I'll never yield. You'll have to kill me. She refused to kill him. And as she was walking off, he held out his blaster. There's a blaster shot. And Sabine went, I was like, what? Did they just kill Sabine? <coughs> Not because, necessarily because I was like, oh, but it was like shocking. Like, they do something like this preseason? <laughs> preseason finale? And I was just like, what? And then she turned behind her. And Gar Saxon had a bullet through his thing. And uh, Sabine's mother had shot Gar Saxon. And now Saxon said that was an on-screen death, so that was kind of shot, kind of nice. Uh, and then, uh, oh yeah, Fen Rao said that uh, once the other Mandalorian houses find out it'll, that he's dead, it'll be chaos. Even though he's committed so many crimes, and <laughs> her mother is like, that's maybe what Mandalore needs to get back on its feet or something like that. <laughs> and then as the chopper flies in with the Phantom. So they're getting ready to go, and uh, Sabine's like, I'm not coming. And I was just like, what? And she said, I'm not coming. And I was like, no, no, it, it can't be. But I started crying, and then it, she said that she was going to stand by her friend, by the Empire. And now I'm worried that, you know, the rumors of the season three being the final season of Rebels may be the case. They've sent Sabine off with the Mandalorians. 
And that's why. Maybe she's not meant to come back because the series isn't coming back. Maybe Kanan and Ezra will die in the finale. When Thrawn comes to the base. And Rex and Hera and Zeb and Chopper will fly off with the rest of the fleet to Yavin. Regardless, that was a heartbreaking moment when she said she wasn't coming back. And I didn't think they'd actually do that. But then the Kanan and Ezra had said their goodbyes, got in the Phantom and flew off. Ben Rao stayed, of course, but that's, I, I started tearing up. It was a sad moment, and I look forward to next week's episode. I have a feeling this is going to be another good one. I think Callus is going to die, and oh, Rebels is getting so good. <coughs> <coughs> What's the situation, Captain? Okay. Anyway, thank you for joining in. This is I've dragged this thing on long enough. Ta tune, in, tune in for next week's episode. Darth Momo, out. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. If you liked the video, comment down below and hit that like button. Oh, and check out some of my other videos. I'm sure you'll find them delight.